Well, something, something must be some kind of news on crude. Watch the long trade on the E mini above resistance. We're going to buy an up close. It's canceled. We're going to sell down close on the E mini 63. Close on it up close. Got it. Go. Full winner. Looking for a pullback on the E-mini, maybe for a potential second short. We didn't get it. Crude's just going crazy. Watch the short roll on the E-mini. We need dual quants and dual gears. We have no trade on crude. We've just come too far on the E mini to chase it lower. Let's look for a retracement. Boy, it's going lower.
Paul, we've gotten a full winner out of this trade, but it was just too risky to the downside. We come all the way down. No long on crude. Cyan background's a little too risky. We're looking for the short roll on crude. E minis sitting above multiple areas of support. Watch the long trade on crude. Need a pullback. We're going to buy it up close. First target's hit, and we're out. right here on the pullback. Looking for the short roll on the uh, E-mini. I know that crude call is quick. The crude is moving really fast.
Watch the long move on crude above resistance. We're going to buy an up close 1501. Got our first. Keep going. Go. Ah, took us out after one target. Well, I have to tell you, we're done for the day. We've hit our profit target and we're all, and we're finished. I'll show you the trades. Right here. First target on the E-mini, $300. Second trade on crude, 80. Third trade on crude, 80. Our profit target is between 400 and 500 a day. We made 460 bucks. And we have three trades. Also, our, one of our rules is we get our first three trades as winners and we're out. So we're just under $500 for the day. And um, we're done. We could keep trading, but it's never a great idea to trade once you've hit your profit target. I'll show you the trades. I mean, now that we now that we have our workspace set, no problems. I mean, this was a little bit of a risky trade taking the continuation short that worked. But here was our first trade, it was a transition zone trade, right below resistance, right below the support. First target, second target, that was a $300 trade. Dual quants, dually gears. Trend separated from the 15, which is exactly what we're looking for. On crude, entry, the pullback was here, the entry was one tick above, first target out plus one, next trade, there's the pullback, there's the entry, first target, out, plus one. Those were $80 trades. So 380 and 80 is uh, 460. And that's it, we're not gonna risk that. Even though we've got a lot of volatility um, it could, and I, I'm, I'm always, always my predisposition is to trade on. It's never a good idea um, when you hit your profit target.